Hello everyone. This is your facilitator for SPL, Abdul Basil. Yeah. <clears throat> in the last class, we were in the middle of the specimen. We just started for attempting. We were in the middle of uh, that the specimen that we just started for attempting, right? And <clears throat> we completed the two parts. Right. We completed the two parts, one and two. Uh, and the B part also, right? So A and B was done. <clears throat> if you could just take it that the questions we just did, that's A part one and part two and B, right? So now the C part. And for C part, what we have to do under the strategy and resource allocation heading in the October board report, the possibility of DCS company supplying and supporting such technologies as cloud computing and big data analytics is referred to uh, to accompany the consultancy report. A presentation is needed about exploitation of such new technologies, right? about exploitation of such new technologies. Prepare information of two slides to be presented at DCS company board. So we need to make two slides, including bullet points and notes, highlighting key benefits and identifying the main opportunities by big data to DCS company and its customers and skills are communication. So it's a short requirement, but again, for attempting this, for attempting this, we need to have a uh, knowledge of big data, right? For attempting this, uh, we need to have a knowledge of big data. Let's have a discussion on big data. Here, we made examiner planner and the planner in that I have written my pages, book numbers, and these are 42 and 43, my book page is number, and they are presented here, right? So page 42 and 43. So here they are, big data analytics, right? So we have to go through this information, we have to go through this information, and then uh, we'll be doing the drafting part of it. Yeah. So now, big data, what it is, first we are going to do the, go through the theory, right? <coughs> so that I can uh, teach you or tell you about my experiences <laughs> with big data, right? So introduction. Traditionally, your organizations collected data of transactional nature, right? Customer order, payments, transaction history. These, this, this data was stored, right? This is this is data storage that organization usually needs to store of its customers, right? And traditionally, they have been doing so. This. So, <clears throat> however, now there is a significant data available relating to non-transactional data, right? There is some unstructured information. These information of customer orders these information of customer orders, payments, transaction history, what kind of a structured one, right? But currently in today's world, there have been some unstructured data such as browsing history data and social networks, YouTube and all that, right? So there is some unstructured data available. Now, big data refers to extremely large collection of data. Big data refers to extremely large collection of data that may be analyzed to reveal trends and patterns. That the information that you have got of your customer that will help you to reveal the trends and patterns of your customer, right? Especially relating to customer habits and behavior. You can predict the customer's habits and behavior. You could 
predict the customer's habits and behavior. Now see, the data size is so big, it's so, so, so big that it is measured in petabytes, right? It's, it's not mega, giga, kilobytes, it's petabytes, right? For example, imagine the amount of data held by Google, Amazon, and Facebook. You can just imagine the data they have been having of us, right? You can just imagine the size of the data. This organization is so large that it would require 10, 20 million of PCs to store that data. Now, what do Google do? What do Amazon, Facebook do to store that much million, trillion petabytes data? What they do? What they do? Therefore, the big data comes here. Therefore, the big data comes here. Big data is becoming an important part of organization, right? Because through these huge, huge data, you have been able to extract valuable information about customers, right? You have been able to extract valuable information about customers based on which important strategic decisions can be made based on which important strategic decisions can be made. And hence, big data is now an important tool for strategic planning. Because of that data, you can predict when your customer and what your customer wants. And then you can make the product at the right time through the use of big data to get your product sold, to get your product sold, right? So it's now important tool for strategic planning. Organizations are now investing a lot in big data. Organizations are now investing a lot in big data. Now see, it has some characteristics also, right? It has some characteristics also. The big data has some characteristics also. What's that? What's that? It's volume, it's variety, it's velocity, right? It's volume, variety, and velocity. The data has three Vs. The big data has three Vs, which you need to understand. It has three Vs. And what are the three Vs here? It's the volume. The data size has to be really big, right? Volume. You need to get more, more, more data to reveal or to predict exact timing of the customer that he could buy your product, right? You need huge, huge data. The bigger the data, the better the analysis and findings that trend in the patterns. The bigger the data there is, the better the analysis there is going to be and finding of trends and patterns is going to be bigger, bigger and better. Then there should be variety. There should be variety of data, right? Uh, multiple types of data. There should be variety of data. There should be multiple types of data being created, right? Right? browsing activities you should be knowing your customers browsing activities your your customers buying habits and interest financial transactions right geographical information social and business contacts reaction to the advertisements and comments and discussion right through this through this you could now know through this you could know you could know the product what customer wants right the product what customer wants you could know the product what customer wants right through this so you have to make sure of it right and the velocity velocity means to be on correct time velocity means to be on correct time right so velocity means speed speed information needs to be obtained analyzed action upon processed quickly right as information is changing every hour so if the data you are getting is of a previous year, that's no work. You should be having the immediate data of immediate action so that you could make your product immediately available to the customer. Because daily, I guess I say hourly, the customer habits and needs are going to be changed, right? So timing is important. Timing is important as there's no point in sending market information uh, sending market information to a customer after he has made a purchase. If I want a laptop, and if I buy, buy bought a laptop, and then an advertisement came, and what could I do? I bought that, right? So that, that means you have to send the information at the spot when the customer required that product. So velocity is also important, right? 
So big data has three Vs of it. Now, I would share the personal experience of mine of big data. It's that much simple. I'll give you the two examples, right, of mine. I'll give you the two examples of mine. One is of a food court that I, I, I ordered something on in Dubai while I was in Dubai. And one is of insurance company, right? One is of insurance company. Now, that two examples perfectly fit on big data. Uh, I was in Dubai in past couple of months, right? And <clears throat> I just ordered a burger uh, in one of its very famous restaurants. So I just ordered a burger there, right? And I asked them to put some uh, extra sauces and lesser veggies and a double patty burger. So I just ordered it, right? With my phone and being, my, being in that hotel. So I ordered that and I got the food and I enjoyed my meal, right? Now, after, I guess, a week, I just bought, I just had a craving for that burger, but, but for the same burger or the same restaurant. And I want, I'm, I'm kind of that kind of person that wants same things, right? So I just ordered and I just named the burger, right? I just named the burger. So what did the operator say did to me? That would you be like, uh, to having the same sauces which you had ordered in the previous meal last week ago. Now, at that moment, I just I just went totally blank, right? At that moment, I just went totally blank that how the hell exactly did they know that what sauces I used the last months? And similarly, they predicted the extra ketchup, less wages, and uh, that the cold ring that I, I usually have the Pepsi so the same cold ring they asked me to have the same cold ring with some extra ice and all that so they just repeated the last week's order which I just ordered it so now how did they just manage it I was really completely shocked that my parents do not remember the exact food which I just ate last night and I, am, I have a craving for that food so how the hell this restaurant has been remembering these things that's because of big data. The number was saved. The name was saved. In fact, the operator was different, but the computer was giving at the same velocity. The aura was placing at that time. And I got a fan of them that they exactly remember my preferences and they know what I want to eat. And they just won my heart. Now that's exactly a, a restaurants or any kind of an entity is doing and see see the impression on customer it makes the customer thinks he has been prioritized by its provider but that's not the case it's just the computer that's giving the information similar going to be similar case is going to be the insurance company and that's that i went for my car insurance i went for my car insurance to two companies right uh let's give a name to A and B. I won't take the names, right? I had an information from both of the sectors. I collected information from both of the sectors. So I decided to go for this company, right? Now, once I booked my insurance with this, the B, I left it out. This B company, I just left it out. Now, what they did? Now, the B company, which I just left, left it out, what they did, they asked a few things, right? They asked a few things here. That's a, uh, after a month, they called me. That's a, have you booked your insurance? So I told them, yeah, I have booked my insurance with this insurance provider. So apologies from my side to you. So they said, okay, sir, no problem. Right? Okay, sir, no problem. And the call ends. Now, next year, I received a call. Now, next year, I received a call from this company that, sir, remember you bought insurance of your car from that company? I received a call from B that I bought an insurance from that company. And the B reminded me to pay premium. And B reminded me to pay premium to A on time. They say that, sir, last year you came to us, but you don't didn't bought the premium, they didn't bought the insurance from us. So I just want to remind that you have bought the insurance from A and you should be paying your premium on time to not to avoid any sort of risk and not to get 
uh, lost any sort of risk coverage. So I was really shocked that who the hell is B to remind me who ha whom I'm given the preference to go for the insurance haven't reminded me at all. Then who the hell is B to remind me that, right? Now, again, next year, the B call and they reminded me. Now, here comes a question that whom I have given my money, my premium whom I'm paying, they are not even sending me a message to pay the premium on time. But B, who I'm giving a nothing, has been giving me regular reminders to not to avoid payments or premium to not to lose any coverage that I've got. At that time, I realized that B is taking care more of mine. So I should be changed my I should be changing my insurance provider. And I did the same thing. Why? Because they gave me preference. Now, do you guys think that B exactly noted my date and uh, the operator noted my date and decided that it's his aim to remind me every year? No, 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 no. They just entered the details on the PC and the PC and the big data reminds them to call this person. He have bought the information. He, is, he have bought the insurance from them. So let's just order him. Let's just give him an opportunity, right? Let's just give him an opportunity to pay on time. And that made me fan of B. And this is how customers are manipulated for big data. If you guys should know that, right? If you're taking any names in your mind or in your, in your uh, friends, colleagues in a circle where you sit, and then you open up your mobile and Facebook, then those the, or those related things just come to you, right? Those and those related things just come to you. What's that? That's big data, guys. The data has been analyzed and presented to you timely that you should go and buy the product, right? This is how big data works. This is how big data works. Now we'll go back to the question and try to attempt what exactly they want to write. But just to let you know that what the big data exactly want is that, right? What the big data exactly want, it's that, right? Data analytics. And now the big data is done. Guys, those who are taking classes live can text me on Zoom chat box. Those who are taking recording can text me on WhatsApp for any queries, right? For any queries. Now, what's cloud computing? What's cloud computing, right? Again, we would be covering this complete section once we are free from the specimens, but the important topics which are tested in exam shall be covered timely, right? Uh, we can have discussion on advantages. There are deeper insight to the data, better marketing and pricing strategies you guys can make for big data, improve customer services and relationships, increased competitiveness, right? It's increased competitiveness, development of bespoke products, right? New products. That means new products, right? Not off the shelf. It's the new products, right? Non-sources, new sources of revenue that you guys came to develop. Now, disadvantages, data security, yeah. Confidentiality. Confidentiality is the major issue because you are storing number of amount of data, right? You are storing number of amount of data, right? So confidentiality is the issue. Data storage and management issues, right? Hardware and software data storage and management issues, hardware and software, costly. It, it gave you cost, right? It, it's cost to analyze the data, not the 100% times the customer would buy your product, the data you have been processed of it, not the 100% times, right? So it, it gives you a cost, legal issues. Now, if advantages and disadvantages are being tested, if advantages and advan disadvantages are being tested, you need to analyze them with respect. You need to analyze them with respect to the scenario. You need to analyze them with respect to the scenario. You cannot exactly copy paste these lines. You have to analyze the scenario and go for it, right? Now, what's cloud computing? Now, what's cloud computing? It's again an important terminology which you should be knowing. It's again an important terminology which you guys should be knowing right for cloud computing. It's again an important term. See, traditionally, now through big data, you knew that how much amount of data 
could get bigger, right? So big data, you guys knew that how much amount of data could be bigger, right? You guys just knew that. Now, what's cloud computing? What's cloud computing? Cloud computing is traditionally, traditionally, IT activities such as hardware, software, servers, databases, website hosting were done locally, right? What does mean locally? That means company used to own, that means company used to own physical servers and software stores, data, and manage entire IT themselves, right? Company used to own physical servers and software stores data and manage entire IT themselves, right? It was done, it was done previously. It was done previously, right? Now, cloud computing, now, cloud computing is something different. Something automated version of saving data. It's delivery of computing services over the internet. You can get your computing services, but now not physically or locally, it's on the internet. Companies offering these services are called cloud providers. Companies offering these services are called cloud providers, charge based on usage. For example, you can store your data online on Google OneDrive, Right, you can store your data there. So that's cloud computing. You do not need any physical asset, just a cloud account. When organizations opt for cloud computing, they eliminate capital expenditure of buying hardware. It's one of the major advantage of cloud computing. It's one of the major advantage of cloud computing, right? To eliminate capital expenditure of buying hardware and servers. Eliminate maintaining on-site data centers, right? Eliminates the need of having a large IT department because they don't need to store physically anything. Because they don't need eliminate, they don't need to maintain they don't need to maintain on-site data centers and eliminate the need of having a large IT department. And they need to eliminate the need of having large IT department. This leads to significant savings in cost, right? Again, it leads to significant savings in cost. Now, what could be the advantages of cloud computing? Flexibility, higher level of storage capacity, the Google Drive gives you 100, uh, 100 GB, 200 GB, 500 GB. In fact, 1 TB if you want. In fact, 1 DB, right? Higher level of storage capacity, high technical standards, right? Eliminate heavy investments and IT equipment. Significant savings in IT operation cost, right? Significant savings in IT operation cost. Small firms can benefit a lot, right? Small firms can benefit a lot as they cannot afford to invest in fixed IT infrastructure, guys, as they cannot afford to invest in fixed IT infrastructure, right? So there's some benefits with some cost, high reliance of internet connectivity, right? High reliance on cloud provider. You have to rely on them. The cloud services providers, you have to rely on them. There is no other option. You lose your direct control, right? You lose you lose your direct control and that's the problem. Now the data is controlled by the cloud provider. Data is held by cloud provider, right? You lose your direct control. Data is held by cloud provider. Cloud provider has access to all your data. Cloud provider has access to all your data. Regulatory requirements for privacy of data may not be compliant, with, right? Regulatory requirements of privacy of data may not be complied with. High risk of hacking as cloud providers are main targets, yeah? There's a high risk of hacking, right? Again, if you're using, if you're going to use these advantages and disadvantages, analyze the scenario, right? analyze the scenario and use these points.
analyze the scenario and then use these points, right? So cloud computing also done. <laughs> now, let's get back to the question. We got an idea of cloud computing and big data. Now let's get back to the question. What was exactly the question demanding? What was exactly the question demanding? Let's get back to it. Yeah. Let's see. Prepare information for two presentation slides, including bullet points, key benefits, and main opportunities by big data, DCS company, and its customers, and communication skills. In communication, usually format matters, right? In communication, usually format matters. And the tone of answering matters, right? The tone of answering matters, right? Big data and cloud computing. Big data and cloud computing. <laughs> uh, some of the students have asked that what could other points if you want to write what would be the other points if you want to write in the previous part can be done what could the other points so here the other points can be no agms right we discussed that also no agms that was the governance point if you want to write you can write right uh, we could say poorly maintained. That's from the examiner answer. Poorly maintained audit committee. You don't have the accurate audit committee, accurate number of NEDs. There should be no EDs in audit committee. So there can be extra points if you guys want to make. You could think, right? And you could write, right? Now, the C part, big data, right? Now, the C part. Let's write, uh, make slides. First, you need uh, slides, right? So slide one. Slides are going to be uh, given in the exam. You just need to fill it, right? So benefits of big data benefits of big data what are the benefits right uh sentiment analysis you could write this you could write cost reduction just we read right cost reduction can be done through big data right you could say faster and better decision making. You could write that also, right? You could write predictive analysis. That means you can predict your customers' buying patterns. Now, one of the students just asked, so what if we write uh, slide one and also the slide? Is there any problem? Come on, guys, this is a professional paper. So there's not going to be a problem of this kind that if we have written the slide one inside the slide or outside the slide, there's surely not going to be a problem of it, right? It's totally up to you. So these are the four points which we made here. Now, let's uh, supporting notes, write supporting notes of this slide. <clears throat> wow. 
what could be the supporting nodes, right? So we could talk about internet. Don't exactly just replicate the points you made uh, in the bullets. You need to have some extra information, some generic conclusions, right? So here are the way you should do that. A DCS operates as DCS operates in a country with 75% of the population of the population, right? Connected to the internet. You could start like this, right? Connecting to the internet. And again, you do not have to mention each and every point separately. You could merge points, right? While in the nodes. You could merge points, right? So, 75% uh, of the population connected to the internet. Presumably, purchasing significant portions of the uh, required requirements online. So the customers might be purchasing many things online as they are 75 percent right dcs can sell their product dcs can sell their product or you could say the data component product the data component product to the users right to the users right It can do this by promoting their products on media platforms, right? Which can attract customers, which can attract customers right this can attract customers <clears throat> again dcs could perform see i'm linking the data with dcs right you don't need to define advantages generically consider that dcs is going to implement this right you are presenting this to the board if so you implementing DCS, what's going to happen? So DCS could perform market analytics by the data it has collected, right? By the data it has collected Uh, and can gain insights and can gain insights to their customers, right? And can gain insights to their customers purchasing pattern through the data they have collected, right? Uh, analyze market trends analyze market trends right and permit them to make and permit them to make evidence based evidence based market decisions evidence based market decisions now see what i did now see what i did I just use some benefits and then I define them in a different way. Market analysis, right? Data collection, purchasing patterns can be analyzed. 
that's that's basically the predictive analyst right you could make a one para on cost reduction and all that but usually in slides you need to write less so therefore uh, focusing on more writing in slides doesn't sound well right doesn't sound well now slide 2 what's slide 2 opportunities to dcs opportunities to dcs customers of big data analytics opportunities to customers big data analytics now what would be that unlocking significant value right unlocking significant value right developing next generation products developing next generation products right developing next generation products right what could be else what could else we could write here right uh narrower segmentation more narrower right more narrower segmentation we could write this right M ability to collect more and accurate data collection right so these are all the opportunities that dcs have these are all the opportunities that dcs have right so again we got the slide now the notes Now, supporting notes. Now, what are the supporting notes here, right? What are the supporting notes here, right? See, so big data, big data, analytics makes information, makes information about DCS customers makes information about DCS customers more transparent. Now, accurate means more transparent, right? Accurate means more transparent, right? And allows customer to make, uh, allows customer to get more and timely information, right? Allows customer cover or get more accurate and timely information. Without maintaining maintaining data storage sources right so customer can get their data their required data even without maintaining their data storage sources right big data gave them this opportunity right cloud computing as they discuss cloud computing in the question we're going to be discussing cloud computing right is an absolute replacement of data warehouses where data was stored, right? So the data, the big data could be stored in cloud computing using could say using cloud computing mechanism right cloud 
computing mechanism, right? Similarly, DCS <laughs> clients, they have clients, right? Can do much more sophisticated, much more sophisticated analysis, right? Much more sophisticated analysis <clears throat> of their customers, of their customers and can alter their products and can alter their products more precisely more precisely right which can add value for suppliers in eyes of customer, right? So this could add value for suppliers in eyes of customers. So again, we've made some points, try to explain these points through these paragraphs, right? Through the, these paragraphs, right? And again, the last that the other key opportunity the other key opportunity is to allow is to allow dcs clients right is to allow dcs clients to develop to develop bespoke products bespoke products right For their customers, for their customers, based on their, based on their precise needs, and consumer behavior. So this would help you in developing new products, right? This would help you in developing new products. So this is, we have got for the big data. This is the max we have got for the big data and for the eight marks, I guess, and for the eight marks, right? Till here, we attempted 31 and then 14 marks. So that's approximately 45. And then eight marks here, right? So 45 plus around eight is going to be 53. So till now, you have attempted 53 marks question of DCS and it's already have taken around two and two and a half classes, right? So let's take a short break and then uh, we'll continue with the next of the parts shortly, right? Take care.